What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the MSU Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Today we're going to be taking on the Weber State Wildcats. Their quarterback Ryan Rankin. Uh, he looks like he has been injured the first few games, but he is healthy for today's game. He's a pretty solid quarterback and impact player. Uh, they got a nice receiver there, Dorsey, over 300 yards and a touchdown reception for him already this season. Um, their defense seems to be okay, I guess. They've gotten two sacks and an interception as well on the year throughout their first few games. They are currently sitting at 0-3. We are 2-3. Uh, we do have some suspensions, of course, last week. I think it was uh, Derek Marks. He got suspended once again. Um, so he's going to be missing a few games. We also have our fullback missing a few games. But uh, yeah, uh, nonetheless, uh, we're still obviously playing this game here. And we're going to start off kicking off to Dorsey, who loses the football. And the Bobcats are going to recover it. A great start to today's game. A fumble recovery there for us, setting us up just outside of the red zone. Our first play there is a run with Afonze that goes nowhere. Anderson moving to his left, throwing off his back foot to Coy Steele, who gets MSU inside of the five. But we're going to be outside of the five now. Delay of game on the offense. We could not get set fast enough. First down and goal from the seven now. Anderson's running to his right. He's going to try to go to the end zone there. It's going to be broken up looking for Travis Johnson, who is now an impact player. Going over the middle to Kevin Cassis there, but unfortunately he can't hold on to that. Third down and goal. Anderson's running to his right there. Lance McCutcheon with the catch. Did I call him Kevin Cassis? Kevin Cassis isn't here anymore. I meant to say Lance McCutcheon. And there Lance McCutcheon gets the grab in the end zone for the touchdown. The Bobcats very quickly up 7-0. to But Weber State... Their offense, not bad. They get out to London there. He picks up nine yards. Going over the middle to Buckley, and that's going to pick up enough to move the chains. Ryan Rankin has got time in the pocket there. Connects with Dorsey on the left side. Enough to pick up yet another first down. Rankin going across his body there to Buckley. Gets some nice yards after the catch, and yet another time to move the chains. Rankin floating this one out deep here, and Blair has that reception, and now they're inside of the red zone. London with the carry here. He gets some nice blocking brought down inside of the five. Now they're going to give it to their fullback running up the middle. Picks up about a yard or two. Second down and goal. Rankin has his fullback wide open. We committed to the run. We went all out with the blitz there. And yeah, Weber State, they made us pay. And we're tied up at seven apiece. Toss out to the right for Isaiah Afonze, but he's going to go backwards. A loss of six. Anderson running to his right, trying to go to Afonze through the air now, but misses him as that throw goes out of bounds. Anderson taking a deep shot here for Travis Johnson. Who brings this one in? 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Montana State Bobcats. Travis Johnson, he's got that big play in him. He's got that speed. He can burn these corners, especially a lot of them. In the Big Sky Conference, they aren't the fastest guys in the world. Travis Johnson, one of the faster guys. I think he might be the fastest guy on the team, somewhere around 95 speed for him. And he burns the entire defense and gets the Bobcats back on top here. Weber State, though, they're moving the ball nicely here. Breaking off a sack, a deep shot there for Dorsey. Their own impact wide receiver gets them down inside of the 10. London on the run here is going to get them now inside of the five yard line. Giving it to the fullback running up the middle. He is in the end zone for the Wildcat touchdown. And that's going to tie the game up once again at 14 apiece. Afonze running up the middle, but he's not going anywhere there. Starting the second quarter now. Anderson's going to run this one. Getting around the whole defense. It doesn't look like anyone's going to catch him. 10-5 touchdown. Bobcats. Another big play for Montana State. As Anderson does his little dance there. And we are, have the lead right back again. So it's looking like this game might be a little bit of a shootout. Toss out to the right for London. He's going to throw it himself. G. Jones has this reception getting brought down at midfield. A nice pass by the running back there. London's going to do it on the ground now and pick up a gain of two. Rankin's looking to throw. Going over the middle. He's going to be picked off. Joe Joe Henderson getting his first interception on the season. 
Great play there by Henderson. Just stepping right in front of that one there. And Montana State's got the football. Afonso's going to run, trying to get a little bit of a run game going, but he's been having a tough time here. This time he'll pick up some nice positive yardage, a gain of six. Third down and four. Anderson moving to his left. He's going to run, and he's going to pick up enough for the first down, getting the Bobcats out to midfield. Afonso is going to take this one to the left side here. A good run from him just outside of the 30. Anderson's looking to pass, running to his right here. He's going to try to get around the defense. He does break out of the, uh, the sack there, but steps out of bounds and loses eight yards. Anderson moving to his left. Now he's going to try to run, pick up about a yard or two there. Third down and 17 for MSU. Anderson taking a deep shot for Travis Johnson. Incomplete pass, though, and we're going to have to punt. Play action here. Rankin going on underneath there to Jones. That's going to be a quick 10 yards and another first down. Inside of two minutes now, Dorsey has this reception. Running past a lot of defenders, getting out to the 47. Ryan Rankin looking to throw here. He's got time in the pocket, going over the middle. Nice play by Cox, breaking that one up. Almost an interception. Rankin under a little bit of pressure here, getting hit there. That pass falls incomplete. Third down for the Wildcats. Now Rankin under some pressure, breaks out of one sack, and then Bryce Sturk gets him there and injures him as he goes down. Montana State trying to put some more points on the board here. Toss out to the right for Afonso, or rather a pitch out to him, but he's going to lose four yards. Anderson moving to his left. He's got green grass in front of him. He's going to pick up enough for the first down, and that's going to move the chains. We get an update on their quarterback. Uh, it's a minor injury. He'll be back in the second half of play. Anderson running to his right. He's going to wisely throw that one away. He's not going to make the uh, same mistake he made earlier. Anderson going to the left side now. He had Travis Johnson open, but he let him out of bounds there. Third down now. Anderson's going to scramble, take off, and run. He's just going to do it himself. A nice spin move there. Gets him inside of the 40-yard line. 25 seconds left in the first half. Anderson running around under a little bit of pressure here. He's got Lance McCutcheon open. He makes the grab inside of the 5-yard line. Brought down at the 1. First down and goal. Anderson running and he might as well just do it himself. Taking it into the end zone for the Bobcat touchdown. And that's going to put us up 28-14 to 14 at the half where we are doubling them. First down and 10. We're going to run this with Afonze. He gets some nice blocking across the 40-yard line. A good run from him today. Picking up over 20. Anderson running to his left. He's going to scramble, do it himself yet again. Steps out of bounds after picking up the first down. Deshaun Ralph now getting the carry. He's going to pick up two yards there. Anderson running to his right. Now he's probably going to run. Indeed he will. A first down and more jukes inside, inside of the 20-yard line. Another big run by him. First down and 10. Anderson moving to his left here. Once again, he's going to take off and run and pick up yet another first down. Going to give it to Afonso. Now let someone else do the running. He's going to dive into the end zone for another Montana State touchdown. And we've really taken control of this game here. 35-14 to 14 now. London on the carry there. He's going to pick up a gain of three. Rankin looking to throw. He's going down, though. Bryce Sturk getting his second sack of the game. Third down and 14. Rankin going over the middle there. A dropped pass, it looked like, by his receiver. And Weber State's going to have to punt. Ralph's going to get the carry for the Bobcats there. He's going to pick up six yards. Giving it to Afonso spinning and going backwards there. Anderson is going deep here for Travis Johnson. Who's going to bring this one in the inside of the five-yard line? Another big play there. Now Anderson's going to run wide open there. He's just going to take it himself to the end zone for his third rushing touchdown today. Anderson's been having a lot of rushing and passing touchdowns. He can really just do it all. First down and 10 for Reber State. Trying to get back into this game. It's not too late, but it's going to be pretty difficult here. But this is definitely going to help Dorsey. A lot of open space inside of the 20-yard line. Finally, Seth Cobb able to bring him down at the 2-yard line. But a huge play there for the Wildcats there. 
Damian Washington missed a tackle. Seth Cobb finally able to catch up to him. But uh, will it be enough? Is that touchdown saving tackle really going to save a touchdown here? On first down and goal from the two, it's going to become first down and goal at the one as I bit on the uh, the fake snap there or whatever. First down and goal now from the one. Rankin's looking to throw going to the end zone though. It's going to be broken up. Good play there by the secondary. But on second down, they punch it into the end zone with London. That's going to make it a 21-point game. But crazy things have happened. And uh, Weber State, they still got an opportunity to win this. Let's not let them do that. Isaiah Alfonso is going to get the carry. Here he's going to pick up the first down. And that's going to bring us to the fourth quarter. Giving it to Afonze again. Breaking tackles. Fighting for everything he can get. Getting out to the 50. Afonze getting the ball yet again. Running up the middle yet again. Picking up five yards. Deshaun Ralph now on the carry. Gets some nice blocking. He's across the 30. Across the 25. Makes a move inside. Down at the 20 yard line. Going to give it to Ralph yet again. Running to the left. A quick first down there. He's inside of the 10. First down and goal. Afonze on the carry. Not going anywhere there though. You're on second down and goal. We give it to Afonze. And he goes untouched into the end zone for another Bobcat touchdown. And that looks like it's going to be the nail in the coffin. We force Weber State to go three and out. They're going to end up punting to Travis Johnson. And this is just more salt in the wound for the Wildcats. As Johnson's going to take it all the way to the crib for the punt return touchdown. As we put up back-to-back -back 50 burgers. We did it to NAU. And now we do it to Weber State. This game, it was pretty close. Uh, in the first half, it was 7-7. Then it was 14-14. But then after that, Weber State really lost control of this game. We are now 2-0 in conference play this season. A good start for the Bobcats. Um, I think we might be one of the better, if not the best team in the conference. Up there with Idaho and Montana. Although the Montana Grizzlies have been struggling. I don't remember if they're winless or they only have like one win on the year so far. They've been struggling early on though. So uh, I like to see that. The receiving, uh, there are only three players caught uh, passes. Travis Johnson, the main man there. On defense, Bryce Sterk. He got two sacks and then Henderson with the pick. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.